That news was brought to you by the Norton Eagles Auxiliary and Airy. The Norton Eagle Social Room Hours are Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. to close, with pizza and nachos available. The Dining Room is open Monday through Thursday, 5.30 to 9, with specials throughout the week. You can like and follow their Facebook page or listen here on KQNK, and we'll pass those specials along to you. Every Sunday is Progressive Blackout Bingo, starting at 6 o'clock. You can get there early and enjoy the auxiliary lunch stand with hot and cold sandwiches, soups, sloppy joes, and always a great selection of homemade desserts and snacks and all profits from the lunch stand are given to the Auxiliary Charity Fund. Coming up on March 9th, the Norton Eagles is putting on Abra Cadaver. It's a dinner and a show. Tickets available at the Norton Eagles Club. It's a prime rib dinner with a side salad, baked potato, vegetable, and dessert. Ticket prices are dinner only for $30, theater only for $10, or you can do dinner and a theater for $35 and have a full evening of food and entertainment and I hear that the actors for the abracadabra are from our very own norton eagles spring fling is coming spring fling craft and vendor fair is coming up saturday march 16th so the next two saturdays the 9th and the 16th they'll have something for you to do 9 a.m to 3 p.m easter bunny will be there for visits 10 to 12 and a lunch stand will be available all this and more is happening at your norton eagles people helping people your KQ and K weather forecast for today. It should be mostly sunny with a high near 60 and breezy with a north wind of 15 to 20 miles per hour and gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. For tonight, it should be mostly clear with a low around 33 and a west wind of 5 to 10 miles per hour. On Friday, it should be sunny with a high near 62 and breezy with wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. On Saturday, sunny with a high near 67. On Sunday, sunny with a high near 71. On Monday, it should be mostly sunny with a high near 78. On Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high near 64 and breezy. And on Wednesday, there's a 20% chance of snow showers. Otherwise, it'll be mostly sunny with a high near 42 and breezy. Currently, with a few clouds, it's 46 degrees. The humidity is 73%. The wind speed is north at 17 miles per hour. The barometric pressure is 29.96, the dew point is 38 degrees, and the current wind chill is 39 degrees. It is 9.05. We want to thank the Norton Correctional Facility for sponsoring our morning weather. Norton Correctional Facility is looking for hardworking, dependable employees that want to help transform lives. They have correction officers positions available starting with a wage of $20.13 an hour and the potential to earn an additional $6 an hour pay differential. That's $26.13 an hour on day one. They also offer excellent benefits and promotional opportunities. With over 31 departments, NCF has several other opportunities as well. If you want to find meaningful work with excellent pay and benefits, check out the website at ncfcareer.net. That's ncfcareer.net. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Thursday, February 22nd party line. I'm Natalie here with Mandy. Good morning, Mandy. Good morning. How are you this morning? I am doing very well, thank you. Awesome. Um, Hey, let's real quick, we want to remind everybody today's a big day for our Norton wrestlers. They are uh, heading to state and probably there already. And they are going to start their competitions at 1.30 for us here on KQ&K. You can get all that action with Fig and the crew. Uh, they'll be calling all the action for the wrestling today. The girls and boys are both at stake. So go Blue Jays. We're, we're, my radio is on at home already. I turned it on this morning so that when I'm at home, I won't miss a minute of the action. And that's what everybody should do because, you know, you never really know who's coming to the mats and when. But if you just turn that radio on and leave it on, you won't miss a minute of the action. That'll be today and tomorrow and Saturday. And you can catch all that here on KQ&K. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Just to give everyone a heads up, after we are done with Party Line today, we are going to do a test run with Fig. He is already at the um, arena, or is it Arena Town? I don't know. Tony Center, whatever. Yeah, Tony Center. Um, And and in his spot and getting set up, and we're wanting to do a run to see how the connectivity is there since we've never um, broadcast from there before. And so after Party Line, shortly after Party Line, Fig will be calling in and we'll be doing a test run. And so if you hear him, 
early this morning. It is not starting yet because today's action doesn't start until one thirty. One thirty is, is when, when the, actual um, the the it starts, and then and I think it starts with the girls. Yes, it starts okay. with girls. So, just to give everyone a heads up, if you hear him early this morning, it's not a real broadcast yet. It's a test, and hopefully everything goes well. My fingers are permanently crossed. <laughs> permanently, yes. So, yeah, I hope that everything goes smooth for Fig. Um, it's very frustrating when it doesn't, but I hope everything goes smooth. And uh, go Blue Jays. We're going to be listening and, and cheering them on. Um, and Now, saying that, we also want to let everybody know that since uh, our, our system is going to be taken up today and tomorrow by wrestling, we'll be closing the office early in the afternoons. Uh, we'll be closing at 11. Uh, and so if you need to pick up certificates or anything like that, uh, you need to do that. Or call us and let us know that you can't make it uh, before 11 and we'll leave them on the door for you if you need them right away. So, And with wrestling, everyone knows um, it's sporadic throughout the day. And so our regular programming for today and tomorrow um, will not be the same. So starting today at noon um, through the rest of the day, our regular programming like the, the news reports and the, the market reports and, and so on and so forth that you normally have starting at noon on um, probably will not be playing <clears throat> Um, just because um, of the sporadic coverage of wrestling. So today and tomorrow, starting at noon, our regular programming is not going to exist. And we've opened it all up to allow all the coverage we can get in for the wrestling tournament. Awesome. We're ready. Yes. Well, well, where we're ready is we're going to be. <laughs> so we're trying to be ready. How's that? We're trying. Yeah. Yes. We're trying. And we'll find out when, when Fig does this test. My finger, Like I said, my fingers are crossed, and I think it's going to go fine. Like I say, yeah, we're just hoping new venue, new location. We're, we're crossing fingers, crossing toes, crossing eyes, <laughs> That's right. and uh, hoping for the best. All right. Fun, fun, fun. Um, now, saying all that, I'm going to have a little fun. I'm, I'm ready for trivia. I, I have not answered a single one this week. You might be able to get this one. Okay. All right? All right. I, I won't guarantee you, <laughs> but you might. First, I want to remind everybody that we want to thank the Norton Pizza Hut for bringing you trivia Monday through Friday. Call them today at 785-877-3359. Make your order online or download that Pizza Hut app. It is a free download at your Apple App Store and your Google Play Store. You can also dine in at our Norton Pizza Hut. Family, friends, and great food right here in Norton. And if you're sitting around the radio listening or watching on Facebook Live and listening to uh, Fig on the radio, call our Norton Pizza Hut. Have them bring you your dinner. You don't want to miss a minute. You don't have to do that because they do deliver from open to close. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. And yes, I'm looking for an instrument cluster for 1988 Cadillac Seville. Or if anybody has one of those vehicles that they're, you know, parting out. They can call it 785-533-1589 at Phillipsburg. All right. Got it down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Yeah, this is Ken. I have got a recliner that I would like to sell. It's in good condition. The footrest comes up. And it needs some tender, loving care. I am asking $500 for it. And they can call me at 785-202-2416. All right. We've got it down. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. We love those phone calls. Um, let's go back to trivia. You ready? Okay. Okay. So, uh, again, thank you to our Norton Pizza Hut. Call them. Let them feed you while you listen to all the wrestling on KQ&K. So, um, today, uh, um, I have Bugs Bunny uh, in my news that I do at the end of the show. So, I'm going to ask a question about Bugs Bunny. Okay. 785-877-3378. If you're the first caller with the correct answer, you're going to win a one-topping personal pan pizza from our Norton Pizza Hut. So, really, the question is, um, it's not really about Bugs Bunny, but it has something to do with him, okay? Okay. So, in TV Guides, remember TV Guide? I love TV I Guide. I In TV Guide's 2002 list of the 50 greatest cartoon characters of all time, Bugs Bunny was honored with the number one spot. I want to know who was number two. 
In TV Guide's 2002 list of the 50 greatest cartoon characters of all time, Bugs Bunny was honored with the number one spot. Who was number two? Nope. 785-877-3378. Be the first person with the correct answer. You'll win that one topping personal pan pizza from our Norton Pizza Hut. So in 2002... Nope. In 2002, uh, Bugs Bunny was listed as the number one cartoon character of all time out of the 50 greatest. Who was number two? Well, we wait on the answer. We're going to break for our open market report. That's being, no, that's being brought to you by, he, that wasn't even in the top five. Being brought to you by High Plains Farm Credit with offices in Phillipsburg and in Hayes. In today's world, there are so many questions asked on a daily basis concerning your health. What supplements should I be taking? Will this be covered by my insurance? Can I take these medications together? One thing you don't have to question is Moffitt Drug, your hometown pharmacy's commitment to your health. Their friendly and knowledgeable staff are always there to answer any questions you may have concerning your health care needs. Let Moffitt Drug take care of you and provide the personal care service they are known for in our Norton community. First-hand knowledge of farming and ranching sets us apart from other lenders. This is Josh Mooseman with High Plains Farm Credit in Phillipsburg. We know you need to make the most of every minute. When you need to talk ag lending, we've made it convenient. Visit us at any of our six offices or online today at highplainsfarmcredit.com. At High Plains Farm Credit, we bring ag lending home to you. Visit us at highplainsfarmcredit.com for more information. High Plains Farm Credit, your local ag lender. Kansas Agriculture Network Markets. Good morning, everyone. I'm Slade Wiley here on the Kansas Agriculture Network. Not yet another slow start to the morning with a few asking prices noted around 184 plus in the south and 292 plus in the north. Bids remain very hard to find at this point, and significant trade volume will likely be delayed until later this afternoon and or tomorrow. Beef cutouts are expected to be mixed with light to moderate box movements. We can now take a look over at the Mercantile, starting things off with February live cattle, currently up by 72 cents at 184.70, April up by 37 cents at 188.07. March feeder cattle up $1.70 at 253.05, April up $1.15 at 257.05. April lean hogs up 12 cents at 86.10, May up by 37 cents at 89.72. Over at the Board of Trade, we can take a look at March corn currently up by four cents at four fifteen, May up three and a half at four twenty seven and three quarters, March beans up by a quarter at eleven sixty one and a quarter, May unchanged at at eleven sixty five. March Kansas City wheat up thirteen and a half at five ninety and three quarters, May up by twelve and three quarters at five eighty seven and three quarters. March Chicago wheat up fifteen and a half at five ninety eight and three quarters, May up by fourteen and three quarters at five ninety three. We can now take a look over to crude oil futures, followed by some Wall Street trade. Crude oil is currently down by six cents. Gold down by about seventy cents. Silver is currently up by half a cent with gasoline down by a penny. Over on Wall Street, the Dow Index up to 26.44. NASDAQ is currently up 323.98. And the S&P 500 up 64.05 at 5,045. You're listening to the Kansas Agriculture Network. This is McGruff the Crime Dog, and I need you to help me take a bite out of crime. Counterfeit products are popping up everywhere. Fake sneakers, fake cosmetics, and even fake pills. Crooks are selling counterfeit versions of just about everything. Last year, billions of dollars worth of counterfeit products were sold in the U.S. Sure, it may seem like saving a few bucks on the things you want isn't a big deal, but counterfeits are usually made in unsafe conditions, potentially using hazardous and even lethal ingredients that could harm you and others. And the money you've paid, it goes right into the hands of criminals and may support child labor, drugs, and even gangs. <sighs> Smells like big crime to me. So if you still think buying fake products is harmless, think again. And remember, if you don't know where the products came from, how could you know where the money goes? You're smart. Buy smart. Go for real. Learn more at McGruffPSA.org. This message is brought to you by the United States Patent and Trademark Office and the National Crime Prevention Council. All right, we have a phone call. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Um, is it Lola Bunny? It is not. Thank you. 
Okay, so first things first, we want to tell you that that uh, market report was brought to you by High Plains Farm Credit with offices in Phillipsburg and in Hayes. You can call them toll-free at 1-800-815-8593 for High Plains Farm Credit. We have not gotten a correct answer yet on our trivia. We've got a ton of um, guesses, but not a correct answer yet. So listen closely if you want to Google. And TV Guide's 2002 list of the 50 greatest cartoon characters of all time, Bugs Bunny was honored with the number one spot, who was number two. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Are you calling with an answer to trivia? No, I've got a birthday. Awesome. Whose birthday? Yeah, well, I want to say good morning to you dynamic duo. <laughs> well, good morning to you, sir. <laughs> it, it, it is our oldest daughter's birthday today, Denise Bailey. Denise Bailey has a birthday today. All right, we've got her down. All right. I'm not going to ask how old she is because, you know, that's well, well, she, she is our, She's our oldest one. Oh, well, you made that very clear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, she, did she make you mad? <laughs> uh, oldest but youngest at heart, right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> <Some> five. <laughs> Dad, geez. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, one more time. In TV Guide's 2002 list of the 50 greatest cartoon characters of all time, Bugs Bunny was honored with the number one spot, who was number two. Seven eight five eight seven seven three three seven eight. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Are you calling with an answer to the trivia? Yes. Is it Elmer Fudd? It is not Elmer Fudd. Thank you. Sam. Thank. No, it's not that either. Thank you. All right. Keep trying. All right. In the meantime, we're going to get our start. Our show started. You ready? I am ready. So first thing we want to do is we want to remind everybody that we're waiting on those phone calls that we're already getting. We love that. Keep them coming. Call us at 785-877-3378 if you know anyone that's having a birthday today. Because at the end of the show, we're going to draw for one of those birthday people to receive a cookie from Destination Kitchen and United Northwest Federal Credit Union. If you know anyone that's having an anniversary anytime this week, give us a call. Because at the end of the show on Friday, we're going to draw for one of those anniversary couples to receive a gift certificate. And I'm going to tell you who that's from in just a minute. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Um, is it Marvin the Martian? It is not. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, if you call those anniversaries, tom- tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow, tomorrow, at the end of the show, we're going to draw for one of those anniversary couples to receive a gift certificate, good at Garden Gate, etc. That's also provided by Click Your Hills Travel. Stop in at Garden Gate, etc. See all the wonderful items they have, and please like and follow their Facebook page. And then you can see all the wonderful items that they have coming in all the time. Sorry. What's that? I'm singing. I'm oh. humming. Are you giving a hint? Is yeah. that what you're doing? I am. I hope they were listening. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they weren't, then they're missing out. Um, oh. So, also from Click Your Hills Travel, <laughs> 785-871-4109. At Click Your Hills Travel, you know, it really doesn't matter how you want to travel, planes, trains, automobiles, or a cruise ship. Click Your Hills Travel has you covered. Call them today at 785-871-4109. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Was it Homer Simpson? It is Homer Simpson. And who is this? This is Sylvia Bangle. All right, Sylvia. Did you get it from my hints or did you actually look it up? I actually looked it up. (laughs) Well, that's good you said that because I was going to tell you you owed a little slice to Mandy for giving you a hint. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Sylvia. You can pick your certificate up here at the station. All right, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Uh-huh, bye-bye. Yes, so it was Homer Simpson. Good job. Um, Bugs Bunny was number one. Homer Simpson was number two. Rocky and Bullwinkle were number three. Mm-hmm. I loved Rocky and Bullwinkle yes. show. Uh, Beavis and Butthead were number four. Uh-huh. And okay. the Grinch, the Dr. Seuss character, was fifth. Oh, wait. I won't. Was that close to the year that the new Grinch movie came out? I don't know. 2002? I don't know. I think it came out earlier than that, maybe. I don't know. 
Hmm. I've never seen it, but I, the one with um, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah, I don't know when that came out, but he was the the number five, and he beat out uh, number six. I think was the was Barney Rubble and uh, Fred Flintstone. Uh, and you said I I guessed Mickey, and you said they didn't even he didn't even, even in the top, in the top ten. I guessed well, Mickey 10, and think, Goofy maybe, and Porky five. Pig. Yeah, I think they were might have been in the top ten, but not in the top five. And I thought Mickey would be at least two. Yeah. But no, so can't but, buy it up there, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Sylvia knew, though. So she got herself a one-topping personal pan pizza from our Norton Pizza Hut. That was fun. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Hi. All of us at the Credit Union would like to wish the best boss in the world a happy birthday. And who is that? Denise. Bailey. Mm-hmm. Somewhere between 63 and 65. Okay, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere between in there. 63 and 65. Did her, dad, yes. did her dad tell you to say that? <laughs> uh-uh. No, not at all. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, you never know. Because he, he was hitting. Yeah, he, he was. He just couldn't go that extra step. The so. oldest, you know, and no, Grinch came out in 2000. So. No. So it was already out then. Yeah. yeah. All right, that was fun. It it's was interesting because it's nice to know. When we go on Jeopardy, someday we'll know that answer. We will probably forget by tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'll remember by the this Bugs afternoon. Bunny part. Yeah. It's really sad because we'll be here in the afternoon and someone will come in and they're like, yeah, we won the trivia this morning and we have to look it up. We yeah. cannot <laughs> We don't remember. Yeah, we just, or sometimes we just say, wow, you're so smart, because we can't remember. Yep. Nope. Uh-huh. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. I want to wish Owen McKenna a happy second birthday. Owen McKenna is two. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Owen is two. All right. Um. We were talked about the birthdays and anniversaries. You know, if you have anything to buy, sell, trade, or give away, we've had a couple of those calls this morning. Call us at 785-877-3378. And we want to thank our sponsors. We want to thank the Sunshine Learning Center, Bailey Heating and Cooling, Wiser Realty, and TNC Kitchen. We thank you all very, very much. It's all because of you that we get to be here. I do have a reminder for today. Do you have any reminders? I do not. Okay, so my reminder today is for our Norton Public Library. Today is Thursday, February 22nd, so it's preschool story time. Now, today, it's going to be a little bit different. The Twin Creeks Extension Office will be having healthy eating during preschool story time today. So that would be very interesting. Take your little ones and learn about some healthy eating today at 1015 at our Norton Public Library. We thank our library for all of these great programs that they provide for our community. Okay, you get to go first. I'll go first. All right, let's start the checklist. Are you 18 years or older? Check. Um, can you pass a background check? Check. Isn't that boring? Yeah, <laughs> yep. Do you love to work or want to work with kids? Yes. Check. Do you want to make a difference in the, the world, in our community, by working with these kids? Yes. Check. Then you need to go down and speak to Jennifer at Sunshine Learning Center, 110 North State Street. Those, that's just the beginning of the check marks that you can do on the list to be a new full-time lead teacher or assistant teacher at Sunshine Learning Center. The best part about that, not that those parts aren't important, you know, working with children, making a difference, having fun while you're working, um, no evenings and no weekends, bonus, no evenings, no weekends, a fulfill, fulfilling job working with kids, a fun job working with kids, and you're part of the Sunshine Learning Center family. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to apply, you can again stop down at Sunshine Learning Center. They would like you to stop in person so you can talk to Jennifer, 110 North State Street, for a full time. That's important too, you know. They're, uh, they're offering full-time hours, lead teacher and assistant teachers at Sunshine Learning Center. Awesome. All right, I'm going to talk about Bailey heating and cooling. You know, right now, our weather is so wonky. You know, right, we've got spring weather, and uh, there's, I've seen a few people posting on Facebook. Their tulips are coming up, and they've seen a few buds on trees. But, you know, uh, next Tuesday, they're calling for possible snow. Call Bailey Heating and Cooling today. I know, don't get mad. I'm just saying what they said. Call I, I, just, I just want to throw something. Okay. 
hey, I'm just a messenger. That did not work at all. We kind of do work with kids, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> if you were watching Facebook Live, you just saw me throw a Kleenex at her. And ow. it didn't even come out. Ow. <laughs> it, don't the say abuse. ow. You the didn't abuse even is, get hit. It's overwhelming, the abuse I take. <laughs> Okay, we're talking about Bailey Heating and Cooling. Call Bailey Heating and Cooling today about all your heating and cooling needs, but you know we're not out of the woods yet with the cold weather. So call them. Have them come out. Check your heating unit. Make sure that it's going to keep get you through the cold weather. I mean, we're in coming up with March, and March is notorious for having late snowstorms and stuff here in Kansas. So be ready for that. Also, while they're there, have them check out your AC unit because... We're going to be almost up to 80, over 80 degrees in the next couple of days. And that's really not AC weather, but that just tells you that you need to be ready for it. Mm-hmm. Call Bailey Heating and Cooling today at 785-871-1824 for all your heating and cooling needs. And whether they're there, you might want to talk to them about updating your unit. They have some brands available at Bailey Heating and Cooling. Call them today at 785-871-1824. TNC Kitchen invites you in to enjoy their lunch buffet today. It is Thursday. That means it is everyone's favorite lunch buffet. It features chicken fried chicken served with potato, vegetable, and a roll. All of their lunch buffets come with an ice cream cone or an ice cream sundae. For dinner tonight, you can enjoy a made-to-order KC strip or the waffle special for this evening's special. Again, today's lunch buffet, chicken fried chicken. Tonight is KC strip or the waffle special. I had several people stop me yesterday to see what I ended up having for lunch yesterday. (laughs) Yeah. And I got there, and I finally, I, I went with taco salad. I went with, it is it is a, a favorite, and um, I, I just had to go with it. So, yes, yesterday I had taco salad. If you haven't tried TNC Kitchen's taco salad, you need to try it. It is so good. Won you over. It did. It did. Remember, if you're not able to dine in, you can always call and have your order made to go. That number is 785-877-3511. Again, today's lunch buffet is chicken fried chicken. Tonight is Casey Strip or the waffle special. I'm going to keep this tissue and wave it if you start picking on me again. <laughs> My white flag. Your white flag. <laughs> Just, you know, can't be too, can't be too prepared, right? Okay. I'm going to talk about Wiser Realty at Wiser Realty. They provide residential, commercial, and agricultural real estate services for the Norton, Kansas, Norton County area. And in addition to excellent personal service, the Wiser team will make sure that you find exactly what you're looking for. For more information, you can call Wiser Realty at 785-877-2185. Or you can stop by their office at 214 East Washington Street here in Norton and visit with them about all of your real estate needs. Some current listings at Wiser Realty include 1105 Nixon Drive and 510 North Brown. So let's talk about 1105 Nixon Drive. This three-bedroom, three-bathroom home is perfect for your family with room to grow. You enter into the large, inviting living room with a grand picture window. The kitchen has custom cabinetry built by Jay Fawcett with lots of storage, including two pantry units. The dining room has a custom-built china cabinet and upgraded tile flooring that overlooks the cozy family room that has a wood-burning fireplace. The master bedroom is uniquely large with two separate closets and a master bathroom. The other bedrooms have large, deep closets and custom wooden shutters to cover the windows. And you can enjoy the beautiful oak woodwork throughout the home with oak parquet flooring and solid oak panel doors. There's an extra wide stairway that takes you downstairs to a large L-shaped family room with wood design linoleum flooring. The downstairs bedroom has a cedar lined closet and it's located next to the third bathroom. The oversized utility room houses the washer and dryer, a Culligan water softener and an updated Linux furnace. And an extra bonus storage room has built in cabinets and shelving. A 24 by 84 foot heated garage is partially concrete. It includes four garage doors and a walk-in door. The backyard has a brick patio with a partial stone fence and a small garden shed. And you can enjoy the spring weather while you sit on the brick patio watching the amazing purple martin birds as they enter their multiple housing units. This fine home is situated in a nice neighborhood and is a short distance to schools at 1105 Nixon Drive. Check out these properties and other properties at at Wiser Realty today. For more information, call them at 785-877-2185. Or stop by their office at 214 East Washington Street here in Norton. You done? I'm done. 
I'm done too, so we're going to take a quick break. We're going to break for our livestock auction roundup, and when we come back, we'll have your history. This is Jay and Team for Norton Livestock Market here, right here in Norton, Kansas. So early consignments for today, Thursday's cattle auction at 1 o'clock. All these cattle are weaned except for one deal all note. In the calves and feeders, there's 25 mixed color steers and heifers, 450 to 675. 22 black steers and heifers at 450 to 500. 32 black and charlotte bulls and heifers, they're at 650 to 700. They are off the cow. 45 black steers and heifers, 750 to 800. 30 red and black steers, 600 to 750. 60 black and red steers and heifers at 675 to 750. 45 mostly black with a few red steers and heifers at 600 to 775. 100 steers mostly black, 800 to 850. 120 charlotte cross steers and heifers, 600 to 750. 68 mostly black heifers at 850. 37 mostly black steers at 850. 70 mostly black heifers at seven and a quarter to 750. We'd be anticipating a normal seasonal run of white cows and bulls. Expecting more consignments of all classes of cattle by sale time. Hope to see you at the auction. Thank you. All right, it's time for history. History is being brought to you by Kansas Land Tire. Call them today at 785-877-5181. Or you can stop in and visit Kansas Land Tire. They're our local Goodyear dealer, and they're located just east of Norton on Highway 36, just north of the viaduct. If you're a car and ag person, that's not opportunity knocking. It's opportunity banging on your door with a sledgehammer backed up by a brass band and fireworks in your front yard. The premier tire and service shop in the Midwest, Kansas Land Tire, has a management position open in their Norton store. Great benefits, great wages, great incentives, all from a family-owned business where you're not just part of a team, you're part of the family. At Kansas Land Tire, they set you up for success. So give yourself the gift of opportunity from Kansas Land Tire. Apply online at thetirestore.com or stop by the shop in Norton. On this day, February 22nd, 1855, the U.S. Congress voted to appropriate $200,000 for continuance of the work on the Washington Monument. The next morning, the resolution was tabled, and it would be 21 years before the Congress would vote on funds again. Work was continued by the Know Nothing Party in charge of the project. In 1865, in the U.S., Tennessee adopted a new constitution that abolished slavery. 1879 in Utica, New York, Frank W. Woolworth opened his first five and ten cent store. In 1885, the Washington Monument was officially dedicated in Washington, D.C. It opened to the public in 1889. In 1923, the first successful chinchilla farm opened in Los Angeles, California. It was the first farm of its kind in the U.S. In 1924, U.S. President Calvin Coolidge delivered the first presidential radio broadcast from the White House. In 1954, ABC Radio's popular Breakfast Club program was simulcast on TV for the first time. 1984, the U.S. Census Bureau statistics showed that the state of Alaska was the fastest growing state of the decade with an increase in population of 19.2%. In 1994, the U.S. Justice Department charged Aldrich Ames and his wife with selling national secrets to the Soviet Union. Ames was later convicted to life in prison. Ames's wife received a five-year prison term. In 2010, a copy of Action Comics No. 1 sold at auction for $1 million. The comic featured the introduction of Superman. And finally on this day, February 22, 2010, Walmart announced it was acquiring the video streaming company Voodoo, Inc. Have you ever heard of it? Yes. Oh. And actually, I think um, it still exists. Oh. Never heard of it. But, yep. Okay, today is February 22nd. Today is National Supermarket Employee Day. When you stop in at Jamboree, say hi to all the, the employees there. They work so hard, and it is a little recognition. And shout out to Ron. National California Day. National Chili Day. I haven't made chili this season at all. You have not? I have not. I've made a lot of chili. I need to make some. I know you, <laughs> you have made a lot of chili with the rotary and stuff. But I have not made any chili. I've had chili, but I haven't made any. I need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can could, you could show me how. <laughs> it's National Cook a Sweet Potato Day. 
Okay, I do not like sweet potatoes. I do not like yams. I do not like them baked. I don't like them fried. I don't know what it is. I do like them, Sam. I am. <laughs> Sam, I am. That's right. Do you like uh, sweet potatoes? I do. I like sweet potato fries with ranch dressing. Mm-hmm. You can get them at TNC Kitchen. They're mm-hmm. really good. Well, maybe when I go next, I'll try them. Yes. Because I, I haven't really found any that I liked. And it's also National Margarita Day. I guess I could start with margaritas and then mosey into sweet potatoes. And I wouldn't care. Yeah. Might probably well. eat a whole batch of them. <laughs> so. These are so good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Best ever. Um, in music, in 1956, Elvis Presley entered the music charts for the first time with Heartbreak Hotel. In 1965, filming for the Beatles' second movie, Help, began in the Bahamas. In 1968, Genesis released their first single, The Silent Sun. In 1977, the Eagles released their single for Hotel California. In 1986, MTV aired 22 hours of the Monkees TV episodes in celebration of their 20th anniversary as a group. In 1989, Metallica performed the song One on the Grammy Awards. And in 1993, Chris Ledoux's What You Gonna Do With a Cowboy was certified gold by the RIAA. In sports, in 1920, the first dog race track to use an imitation rabbit opened in Emeryville, California. I used to love to go to the dog races in Phoenix. Yes, me too. It was a lot. Here comes the rabbit. rabbit. Here (laughs) they go. And they're off. I loved it. In 1969, Barbara Jo Rubin became the first woman to win a U.S. thoroughbred race horse. Race. Thoroughbred horse race. (laughs) Oh, I meant to say it that way. 1980, the U.S. beat the USSR, the Soviet Union, 4-3 to three in Olympic hockey en route to a gold medal. In 1992, Don Nelson with, the, with Golden State won his 700th game as a coach. And in 1995, the NFL and CBS Radio agreed to a new four-year contract for an annual 53-game package of games. Happy birthday to Drew Barrymore. She was born in 1975, star of the movie Charlie's Angels and E.T., and I think she has her own talk show now. Yes, she does. It's actually a fun one to watch. Is it? Yes. She's pretty, she seems pretty down to earth. Oh, yeah. I, I'd seen commercials like the girl or something next for door. That. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jonathan, poor girl's been through a lot. Jonathan Demme was born in 1944. He's the director of Silence of the Lambs. Julius Irving was born in 1950, the Hall of Fame basketball star. Steve Irwin was born in the state in 1962, the crocodile hunter on TV. Crikey. Crikey. And George Washington was born in 1732, our first president of the United States. People that died on this date, Chuck Jones died in 2002. He was the animated director of Bugs Bunny. And Andy Warhol died on this date in 1987, the pop artist who painted many famous pictures, including Campbell's Soup Can. Taking a look at our calendar for local celebrities celebrating birthdays today, we have Kate Fawnenstill, Mary Jo Hareski. Denise Bailey and Colin McKenna. And how many we have called in? We have two called in. All right. Hey, and after you do that, I'm going to well, talk about our sponsors and stuff. I'm going to have you look and see how many anniversaries. Or do you know? We have zero. For zero zero still? Yes. Oh, my goodness. We need some anniversaries. <clears throat> Number one is Denise Bailey, who is between 63 and 65 <laughs> years old. Hmm. Let me think about that. Hey, Denise, congratulations. You can enjoy one of those great, big, delicious cookies from Destination Kitchen and United Northwest Federal Credit Union. Recapping our phone calls, we have somebody that's looking for an instrument cluster for a 1988 Cadillac Seville. Or if you have a 1988 Cadillac Seville that you're selling or parting out, he would be interested. 785 785- Three five three three one five eight nine seven eight five five three three one five eight nine. We have someone that has a recliner in good condition with TLC five hundred dollars for two zero two two four one six. Happy birthday from Denise Bailey, the oldest daughter of Ed and Phyllis, and the best boss ever, who is sixty. Yep, years old, and Owen McKenna, who is two. All right. Hey, we want to thank our sponsors for today. We want to thank the Sunshine Learning Center, Bailey Heating and Cooling, Wiser Realty, and TNC Kitchen. Thank you all so much for sponsoring our show. It's all because of you that we get to be here. I want to remind everybody once again that wrestling, the state wrestling ch- uh, tournaments will be starting today at one thirty. I believe it was, right? Yes. At one thirty, um, Be sure to... 
turn those those the radio on. Just leave it on so you don't miss a minute of the action. And so uh, it'll be today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Saying that, our programming will be a little bit different today um, because of the hit and miss aspect of wrestling. So um, today and tomorrow, both our programming will be different. But uh, good luck to the Blue Jays in their state wrestling match today. And uh, you want to remind them again about after the show? Yes, sometime shortly after Party Line is off the air, I'll give Fig the A-OK to call in and do a test run. Um, Since it is a new venue, new location, we want to just make sure that we try and get things figured out ahead of going live at 1.30. And so he's going to be calling in and doing a test run shortly after Party Line. So if you hear him in the next half hour to 45 minutes, no, they did not start early. We're just checking everything to see how it works in Salina. So just to give you a warning, if you hear him, um, we're just checking the airwaves. Awesome. I feel kind of bad because Fig couldn't listen to the trivia this morning. He plays every morning, gives us an answer, and he might have even gotten this one. He, no, he wouldn't. No, no. Okay. no. They're not feel no. bad. No, <laughs> Forget but. It. You know, um, I've been texting with him this morning. We should be, we should feel privileged um, to be able to cover the state competition. Um, he said that number one seating in the um, Tony Center is very limited. Um, they pretty much are going to have a sold out crowd today, and very few. He said there's only a few radio stations that were given reserved seating. Um, for coverage, and one of which was us, and so <clears throat> we because feel privileged. Because Little Miss Mandy thought ahead of time. Well, uh, it was a team effort. Yeah. He he reminded me. Um, I already had it in the works, but he reminded me we, we needed to get everything situated, and so we got it taken care of. And so we are one of maybe a few wow, um, that awesome. he said that has um, seats in the arena. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and good for Fit because that, that helps them out too. So. All right. Well, don't forget, turn that radio on, listen in for state wrestling, and don't forget about us tomorrow for Party Line. Same time, same place.